It is currently 4 a.m. I'm still soaking in the film. I loved it. I absolutely loved it. Oops. That was maybe a mistake. What was maybe a mistake? Me getting in this car with you. You might as well be a serial killer. Sorry, but you do kind of look like one. I feel like screaming. I definitely think that you should. Nobody wants to help! Some people claim that the atrocities we commit in our fiction are those inner desires which we cannot commit in our controlled civilization. So they are expressed instead through our art. I don't agree. I believe heaven and hell are one and the same. The soul belongs to heaven and the body to hell. think about all the things I've done in my life without in any way resulting in punishment. I just fucking love this film so much. It delivered so much more than I could have anticipated and it came at the right at the right time for me. As usual with these films that I just happened to have an amazing instinct with. I, I avoided seeing trailers at the cinema for over a year now. Like, all the films I've seen at the cinema in 2018, I didn't go into the screenings like a normal person. I waited during each screening for, for the trailers to end, and then I walked in at, like, at the last minute before the actual film started, just so that I can avoid hearing the audio for the trailer of the house that Jack built because, you know, usually I just close my eyes, but this, this, I was anticipating this too much. This was as big as the return of Twin Peaks for me. It, I, over a year of waiting and it did not fucking disappoint. I'm just, I'm so, I'm so happy. I'm just so happy. I, I can't wait to see it again. I can't wait to get it on Blu-ray and I can't wait to look back at these cinema tickets like a few months from now and just feel so satisfied and privileged to have seen this amazing film on the big screen and had the chance to support it directly. I'm just so happy. Thank you Lars von Trier. <laughs>